Ho oh, oh, ho holy crap, Christian Bale was good in this movie. The Fighter. I was really looking forward to this movie. I'm going to start out with the bad things first, because there's really only one bad thing, but it did really get on my nerves when I left the theater. In a movie like this, when the movie ends, you should really, really feel that sense of joy. You know, that just happiness that comes along with this guy winning. You should really care about the character. In this movie, at the end, I was like... Alright, good job. I didn't feel a ton of emotion, and that was the biggest problem with this movie, and that was a big problem for me. And a great example of this is Slumdog Millionaire. You care more and more about the character every single time, that when he finally wins, you feel the same way the character does. You're so happy to see him win. In this movie, I just didn't get that. And in a boxing movie especially, where it is an underdog story, you should really feel that, and I think the movie... I don't want to use the F word here, but it did fail, really. Now the good things. Amy Adams is phenomenal. She'll get nominated for an Academy Award. Mark Wahlberg is incredible. He'll get nominated for an Academy Award. Now, there's those people out there who think that Christian Bale can act. They think that he's one note, that he's just grim and gruff, and he, he doesn't emote like an actor playing a character should. Anybody who's ever said that can pretty much shut up after they see this movie, because this is the performance of his life. Best Supporting Actor, there's five nominations. Christian Bale should be nominated for all five of them and win all five of them. This is an incredible performance. At the very end, they show you footage of the real guy. You're just blown away by how accurate of, of a portrayal that Christian Bale gave. This is acting at its finest. Just immersing yourself into a role. He is amazing. This is Daniel Day-Lewis and There Will Be Blood good. This is Heath Ledger in The Dark Knight type of good. That Just the whole, you don't notice that it's that actor the entire time incredible performance really he's going to win the academy award if anybody else wins this year it would be a shock to me and it would be a travesty because he is incredible melissa leo is also very good she may very well get nominated but it's just this movie is christian bale's film and the movie's not the movie's good when he's not on but when he's on every single scene you're just you're just riveted like two characters could be talking but you're looking over at christian bale you know, you might be just doing some sort of emotional, you know, tick or, or walking funny. You're just so immersed in this character that you, you wish that they made the entire movie about him and not about Mark Wahlberg. He will win the Academy Award, and deservedly so. This is the performance of his career so far, and it pretty much confirms that he's one of the best actors of, of this generation. And I know that's a, riding a lot on one performance, but when you see the movie, I think you'll understand. I really did expect this to be, like, a 10. I really expect this to be one of the best films of the year. And it's one of the best films of the year, but it's not the upper tier. You know, it's, it's phenomenal, it's fun, but I didn't come out of it saying, Oh my gosh, that was just, that was incredible, like I really expected to. I feel like I'm probably coming down a little bit too negative on this movie. I did actually love it. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because when Christian Bale's not on, it's probably a 6. But every single time that he's on screen, it's a 10 because he just elevates it to this whole new level. Once again, incredible performance. He brings this movie to a 9. 9 out of 10 for this for the fighter. Really, I do recommend go see it in theaters, definitely. See it with a crowd. It's fun to see boxing movies with a crowd. But unfortunately, like I said, you just don't come out of it with that incredible feeling that I expected. But 9 out of 10, it's a great film. Have a happy holidays, happy Kwanzaa, happy Hanukkah, whatever. Merry Christmas, happy New Year. I'll see you guys later. 9 out of 10. Oh, and you can follow me on Twitter. I've had Twitter for a while. I didn't really, a lot of you probably don't know about it. It's twitter.com slash prime for press await or send me a request on Facebook. You can follow me there. But just a quick note, my Facebook statuses and my Twitter updates are sometimes the same. So if you get pissed off based on the fact that, oh, you keep up the same thing, well, I warned you. I keep freaking hitting the goddamn keyboard with my knee. 
I'll see you guys later. I... Bye. Mom!